in previous chapter we discussed that the, when we move the upward direction temperature decreases there is a sudden fall in temperature due to the normal lapse rate due to the normal lapse rate when we increasing the height temperature falls same as when we moving the upward direction there is a differences in a growth of vegetation in a hard altitudes when we moves the upward direction there are generally as a leaves of trees they becomes as a smaller in size and a sharper it's due to the snowfall it's due to the influence of a snowfall there is a uh, variations in a growth of a vegetation that's why in a plains there are a tropical deciduous forest sap palm at till the height of a 3000 meters from the mean sea level as alpine vegetation when we move the more than the 3000 meters there will be as a coniferous forest coniferous forest <coughs> and afterwards there will be only remaining as the grasses up above the height of a 4500 meters from a mean sea level such variations due to as a altitude second factor affecting as a natural vegetation latitudes latitudes in previous chapter we discussed regarding that tropic of cancer which divides india into the two equal halves tropical conditions and subtropical conditions tropical conditions favorable for a growth of a evergreen forest tropical evergreen forest and tropical deciduous forest but as compared to this when we move in the out northern parts of a tropic of cancer they are known for the growth of a thorny shrubs coniferous forest alpine vegetation it's due to as a latitudes latitudes as an important indicator which supportive for the growth of a vegetation which are supporting for a growth of vegetation clear third factor soils <coughs> in our country there is a different uh, diversified forms of different kinds of soils are present alluvial soils red soil black soil yellow soil laterite soil uh, arid soils sandy soils deltaic soils so such, such kind of a different types of soils they are known for their different characteristics most number of such soils they are the rich in a humus organic matter which helps for the to increase in the fertility of the soils so such soils they are favorable for the growth of a, they are supportive for the growth of a vegetation supportive for the growth of vegetation so different types of vegetations are possible to grow in such areas for example laterite soils which are formed through the process of a leaching in those regions which are receiving as more than 200 cm annual rainfall such areas known for the tropical evergreen forest tropical evergreen forest as compared to this as the widespread extensive area of india covered under the alluvial soils which are known for the tropical deciduous forest tropical deciduous forest so different types of soils supported for the growth of a vegetation next as the precipitation rainfall those regions of the earth which are receiving as a more rainfall excessive rainfall high rainfall means as a supportive for the growth of a vegetation growth of vegetation india's western coastal plains western coastal plains which are known for the more rain more rain receiving in such parts there is generally as a tropical evergreen forests are growing in such regions tropical evergreen forests in the other side as a north eastern states assam and meghalaya also known for the high rainfall more rain for more rain for supportive for the tropical evergreen forest such variation in a rainfall <coughs> rainfall makes as a differences in a vegetation also for example as a 80 to 150 cm annual rainfall receiving area snow powder tropical deciduous forest tropical deciduous forest so precipitation also important factor affecting as a growth of a vegetation next one as the <coughs> sunlight sunlight supporting for the growth of a vegetation those parts of the earth which are receiving as a less sunlight less denuded of a sunlight under such circumstances such areas they are having as a scanty growth of vegetation comparatively the dense in other areas for example the northern slopes of the himalayas in china northern slopes of himalayas in china known for the less growth of vegetation less growth of vegetation as compared to the as compared to the southern slopes of himalaya himalayas means the parts of india in a parts of india there is generally as the dense growth of vegetation due to the 
sunlight. As we discussed in previous chapter, in torrid zone, 23 and a half degree north to south, 23 and a half degree north to 23 and a half degree south, torrid zone receiving as a more sunlight comparatively the temperate and frigid zones. Vertical sun rays are fall in a tropical regions in a torrid zone comparatively the temperate zone which are generally receiving as a slanting sun rays. Slanting sun rays, less heat. So more heat in a torrid zone supported for the growth of vegetation. Growth of vegetation. Clear? <coughs> so these are the important factors which are affecting as the growth of vegetation. Next, one more as a temperature. Temperature. Regions which are receiving as the high temperature, which are having as a high temperature in such circumstances, high temperature <coughs> so high temperature in a high temperature, more rain occur, more rain supportive for growth of vegetation as a tropical ability. That's why the equatorial regions Equator, 0 to 10 degree north and south, receiving as a more temperature, more sunlight, more rainfall, and tropical evergreen forest. Tropical evergreen forest. Clear? So, tropical evergreen forest. So, let's we continue towards the next. Next is the ecosystem. What are factors affecting as a growth of vegetation? Ecosystem means self-sustaining organization of self-sustaining organization of self-sustaining organization of biotic components with its abiotic components. Biotic means flora and fauna. Flora denotes as a plant species, fauna as an animal species. When they interact with their physical environment, where they interact with their physical environment, that part is known as an ecosystem. Self-sustaining organization of biotic and abiotic components. Biotic and abiotic components known as the ecosystem. Large size of ecosystems known as the biome. <coughs> Large size of ecosystem known as biome. B-I-O-M-E. Large size of ecosystem known as the Biome. B I O M E. Example aquatic. Aquatic biome. Tundra. Tundra. Equatorial. 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 Where the specified, specifically as the dense growth of a vegetation has possible due to as the more rain. And due to the such dense vegetation, supportive for the growth of different number of such species of animals which are only surviving in a tropical evergreen forest. In tropical evergreen forest, clear? Known as the biome, B-I-O-M-E. Ecosystem is the self-sustaining organization of Biotic components with its abiotic environment, physical environment, physical environment is known as ecosystem. Large size of ecosystems known as biome, B-I-O-M-E. Large size of ecosystems known as biome. Clear? Till there any questions? Yes. Till there any questions? Next, we start as the classification of vegetation. Yes, Rishkesh. <clears throat> the question tha, why western slopes of the western ghats covered with thick forest and not the eastern slopes? Due to the rainfall. Bombay yeah. <coughs> receiving as a more than 200 centimeters because it located on a coast, coastal parts of a country. The western slopes of a western ghats. But a Pune, their distance from the Pune towards the Bombay has a near about 50 to 60 kilometers, which has located in a leeward side of a, or a eastern slopes of a Western Ghats, receiving as a less rainfall. Less rainfall as 50 centimeters annually. One region receiving as a more than 200, another region has another place receiving as a 50 centimeters annually. 
such variation in a rainfall impact over the growth of vegetation. That's why the thick forests, the dense growth of a vegetation occur in a windward sites, comparatively the scanty growth of vegetation in a leeward sites, in a eastern slopes of a western parts. Any other? Yes, anybody else? Any other question? Next are the classification of vegetation. Classification of vegetation, natural vegetation. Classification of natural vegetation. Generally, as a forest, natural vegetation classified into the five broader categories. Tropical evergreen forest. Tropical evergreen forest. Tropical evergreen forest. Second, tropical deciduous forest. Tropical deciduous forest. Third, mountain vegetation, M-O-N-T-A-N-E, 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 mountain vegetation. It includes as alpine and coniferous. We will discuss in detail later. Fourth, <coughs> thorny shrubs, thorny shrubs, thorny shrubs and grasses. T H O R N Y, thorny shrubs. Next, fifth, mangroves. M A N G R O O V E, mangroves. Mangroves. I'm again repeating as a tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest, thorny shrubs, mountain vegetation, and mangroves and mangroves. Let's start in serial number, serial order. First, tropical evergreen forest. Tropical evergreen forest. Why we call them as a tropical evergreen? Because, because they do not shed their leaves in particular months of the year. Why we call it such kind of a forest as a tropical evergreen forest? Because they do not shed their leaves in particular months of the year means they green they remain green throughout the year but other number of vegetations they shed their leaves before the winters like tropical deciduous which are growing in a punjab they shed their leaves during the autumn season but tropical evergreen forests do not shed their leaves in a particular months of the year that's why they green throughout the year that's why they call as a tropical evergreen forest these forests done. These forests are also known as a tropical rainforest. Why? Because they are growing in regions receiving as more than 200 centimeters annual rainfall. That's why they are called, they are also called as a tropical rainforest. <clears throat> they are also known as the tropical rainforest because they are growing in a regions receiving as more than 200 centimeters annual rainfall. Annual rainfall. Third, these forests known for the hardwood. Hardwood growing in a these forests, which is less, less demanded for the commercial purposes. Commercial purposes. Less demanded for the commercial purposes. Panichani Bandaska. Hardwood, H A R D, hardwood. Less commercial, commercially used, specifically used for a, as a fuel wood, as a fuel wood. And they are pulp used for the manufacturing of a paper. Next, <clears throat> tropical evergreen forest. Next. These forests, these forests are dense in nature, dense, D-E-N-S-E, -E, dense in nature. Due to as a more rain, these, <coughs> these forests are the dense, D-E-N-S-E, -E, due to which sunlight can't penetrate towards the land. Sunlight can't reach towards a land due to as a dense growth of vegetation. Dense growth of vegetation 
sunlight cannot penetrate it can't reach towards the earth crust earth surface it can't reach towards the earth crust next one tropical evergreen forests <coughs> their branches the branches of trees branches of trees branches of trees branches of trees merge with each other makes the canopy it makes canopy like as hut like structure canopy c a n o p y c a n o p y c a n o p y canopy important species of trees growing in a tropical ebony forest are ebony e b o n y e b o n y ebony rosewood 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 and mahogany m a h o g a n y m a h o g a n y m a h o g a n y mahogany <coughs> other number of trees are the cedar c e d a r C E D A R C E D A R canes C A N E S C A N E S C A N E S C A N E S. These forests, tropical evergreen forests, tropical evergreen forests, wildlife species present in a tropical evergreen forest. <coughs> wildlife species present in a tropical evergreen forest are. are monkeys monkeys elephants 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 etc etc these forests are present in a tropical evergreen forest present in tropical evergreen forest present in the northeastern states of assam meghalaya northeastern states of assam meghalaya northeastern states of assam meghalaya north eastern states of assam meghalaya and and western slopes of western ghats 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 clear till there any questions western slopes of western ghats and northeastern states assam and meghalaya which are receiving as a more than 200 cm annual rainfall known for the existence of tropical evergreen forest or rain forest any questions next are the tropical deciduous forest yes rishikesh 
वो सर एक बार ही सर वो जो आपने बताया था बीच में हार्डवुड कमर्शियल नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स असम मेघालय एंड वेस्टर्न स्लोप्स ऑफ वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स वेस्टर्न स्लोप्स ऑफ वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स नेक्स्ट आर द ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडुअस फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडुअस फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडुअस डी ई सी आई डी ई सी आई डी यू ओ यू एस ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडुअस फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडुअस फॉरेस्ट डेसिडुअस फॉरेस्ट so those for tropical deciduous means such forests which shed their leaves in a particular months during the autumn season they shed their leaves before of winters tropical deciduous forest they shed their leaves before winters tropical deciduous forest shed the leaves shed their leaves before winters such forests are growing in regions receiving as annual rainfall annual rainfall those forests which are growing or which are receiving which are receiving annual rainfall annual rainfall 80 to 150 cm sorry 70 to 150 cm 70 to 150 70 to 150 cm annual rainfall 70 to 150 cm annual rainfall due to the location these forests are classified into two categories two categories tropical tropical wet deciduous forest tropical wet deciduous forest second is a tropical dry deciduous forest tropical dry deciduous forest first tropical wet deciduous forest tropical wet deciduous forest tropical wet deciduous forest those forests which are growing in areas receiving annual rainfall annual rainfall forests growing in regions receiving as annual rainfall annual rainfall 120 to 150 cm 120 to 120 One five zero centimeters annual rainfall. Annual rainfall. One two zero to one fifty centimeters annual rainfall. These forests. These forests present in. these forests present in present in western ghats along western ghats western ghats western ghats eastern slopes of western ghats Eastern slopes of Western Ghats, Eastern Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Eastern Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Chota Nagpur Plateau, Odisha and West Bengal, Odisha and West Bengal. I am again repeating as a Eastern slopes of Western Ghats, <coughs> Western Ghats, Eastern Madhya Pradesh. छत्तीसगढ़ छोटा नागपुर प्लेटू उड़ीसा एंड वेस्ट बंगाल 
Odisha and West Bengal. Next are the tropical, tropical dry deciduous forest, tropical dry deciduous forest, tropical dry deciduous forest, which are growing in regions receiving annual rainfall, annual rainfall, which are growing in regions receiving as annual rainfall, 70 to 120 centimeters. 70 to 120 centimeters. 70 to 120 centimeters. These areas are Punjab, Haryana, Eastern Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Eastern Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Karnatak, 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 Telangana, etc. Telangana, etc. Full stop. Now, regarding as a tropical deciduous forest, Tropical deciduous forests are known for the soft wood, soft wood, which is preferably used for a timber industry for furniture, manufacturing of furniture. It is preferably used for manufacturing of furniture, manufacturing of furniture. Manufacturing of furniture, <coughs> manufacturing of furniture, important species of trees growing in a such forest are, important species of trees growing in a such forest are, such Forests are sal, S A L, S A L sal, sagwan, S A G W A N, kusum, K U S U M, mahua, M A H U A, M A H U A. M A H U A, etc. M A H U A, etc. Third vegetation as a mountain vegetation, M O N T A N E. Till there are any questions? Yes, any questions? Yes, Rishkesh. Uh, sir, these forests are known for softwood. Softwood, which is used for a timber industry, furnitures, for manufacturing of furniture, they are preferably used for the timber industry. Yes, Bushan. Sir, the do you have trees, but I don't know. Can you moisture and dry dress? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, Gia. Anji. Sir, please tell animals of deciduous forest. Tropical deciduous forest. Tropical deciduous forest. In such forest, there is generally as the tiger. Tiger, which is present in a West Bengal, Sundarbans. Asiatic lion. Asiatic lion. Asiatic lion. Different species of deer. Black buck. Yes, Chetani. Chetani. Anji Bachu. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, you have trees can now 